Good morning and uh, welcome to uh, Daniel Weekly uh, Weekly Ramblings uh, number 21. Uh, February, what date is it? 17. Um, so, this uh, week has been another week with some fun. Um, perhaps I, I could start in this and that um, last week the Chromium development blog, they posted a link to my HTTP2 explain document. Uh, they actually, and that was fun. I mean, um, they drive, um, they managed to drive a lot of traffic to my site. And of course, a lot of more readers downloaded my, my document and, and uh, I started to get more feedback. Also, I should mention that in their blog, they say that um, Chromium or and Chrome then will um, switch off speedy during 2016 completely from the browser. I mean, they will go HTTP2 only um, at some point there. Uh, and uh, that's where Firefox is going as well. M not with that uh, clear um, date or cutoff point in time, but assuming that sites and everything switch, um, switch over to HTTP2, there won't be any good reason to keep the speedy stuff around. So gradually it'll be switched off in in both uh, firefox and then as in chrome they, they're told and the reading the media after that blog post from the chromium blog it, it, it seemed that people thought that google would implement uh, it to be too then just now but of course they they already have been playing around with hp2 for a long time and it's been working there if you just enable it and they will enable it more and more over time now as I mentioned already last week. Um, I then updated my document to... Uh, oh, right, since there, the, um, the HTTP2 draft 17 was uh, published, which was also another one just um, with a lot of editorial updates, so there were no uh, real content changes, just clarifications and better descriptions and uh, some uh, responses to feedback during the IETF last call. So this is supposed to be exactly what becomes an RFC very soon. So we'll see what happens there. Um, I then updated my document according to that and, and so to point out to the draft 17 and the HPAC 11 uh, documents. I also did some other updates in the, in the document really. And, um, and then, right, and then um, it got published on Hacker News again. And Hacker News is fun because if being mentioned on the Chromium blog drove traffic to the site. Hacker News is, uh, is an entirely different beast. It drove massive amounts of traffic. So um, my statistics for February so far shows that the document, HTTP2 explained, I mean, 32 pages PDF, it has now been downloaded more than 25,000 times in February alone. So that's kind of big, I think. I mean, it's very technical, it's very nerdy and um, nitty gritty details, but uh, fun. And I also have got a fair amount of um, bug reports, I should say, or complaints or, or remarks on, on um, strange wordings or, or misspellings and grammar mistakes and whatever. And I've tried to update the, the document accordingly and I, I'll do another uh, revision of this document soon I probably I'll probably wait another week or so and just see if I get more response and see see what happens <clears throat> fun anyway um, that was that about HTTP, HTTP2 um, there uh, then in the Firefox project I landed my patch for bug 237623, which is the one um, I've been talking about a long time, about checking download sizes and, and uh, properly detecting if the trans transfer is prematurely cut off. And I had been working on this for a while. I was quite, I felt good about it. I had all the tests ran, ran green. Um, I got it reviewed, everything, and it landed. Everything was fine and dandy. And then I read my emails on Saturday evening. Bam. 
yeah, there were like three, four, five bug reports, various kinds on, on different sites that didn't render properly. And possibly the most notable one was hallmark.com, which obviously is a, is a popular site on Valentine's Day, apparently. So um, not that good. So that patch was backed out again uh, fairly quickly. I, the feature was prepped, so it could actually be switched on and off, but apparently there was some case that still bugged, even if you turned off this feature with the pref. I don't know exactly what bug that was, so I'm not sure exactly how to proceed from there. But anyway, that was the bug actually. Is, I, I, I um, added a check now, so if the, if the request ends and the gzip state machine hasn't ended uh, in a good state, I would consider that a problem and I would, I would return an error, basically saying that there was a gzip problem. It turned out that I can't be that strict. Um, so since obviously far too many pages uh, don't reach that state. So going forward uh, again, of course, I, that patch was backed out and I'm I'm on it again. I, re I removed the GCP checking parts and I'm gonna, um, I'm testing it out now. And I, all the tests, uh, all the sites that broke, at least all the ones that we got bug, bug reports for, I've uh, verified with my new version of the patch and they seem to work okay so with a little luck and uh, it'll go in again soon who knows so i will um, i wrote a fairly lengthy blog post about exactly what my new patch does and i posted it when when it had been landed for a while so i thought that well at least it won't be backed out immediately that was a little bit premature, I guess, since um, it was backed out fairly quickly anyway. Still, that was that. Um, otherwise, I'm, I'm uh, working on the navigator.online uh, readout for, for Firefox. Uh, so when JavaScript or applications uh, read the online status of your browser, apparently, well, that's uh, kind of a... It's a universe of um, opinions and, and uh, different heuristics how to do that so that web applications uh, are happy and can uh, do whatever they want to do uh, properly. Um, I wanted to mention that, um, of course, if you want to track what I do and what I, my things during the week, I mean, between my f videos, then I post on Twitter fairly regularly and I post only about crap that I like. That means protocols, open source and networking and stuff like this in English. <clears throat> Just wanted to mention that since some, I bet some of you haven't really thought about that. And uh, that's it. Uh, we are now, you are now more than 100 subs uh, subscribers of this uh, video series, which is fun. Fun. Um, this is Tuesday again. I don't know if I'm going to stick to Tuesdays, but sometimes my Mondays are a bit hectic and, and not that fine to do videos on. Well, uh, that's it. Yeah, um, next week I think I'll sum up something about the VTLS project that we kind of started uh, like a week ago or so. Um, I, yeah, I'll, I'll save that for, the, for, for another week and see what, where that goes before I spoil anything or no but before i kind of making the judgments or or predictions on, on where we're going there that's it see you again next week